So this is the top I got. Rice dispenser, you guys. Look, I actually had to fire someone today. Hey guys, I have been away. I've had a stomach bug. I don't know what is happening, but everybody has seemed to have some sort of stomach virus um, these past few weeks. But alhamdulillah, it's my first day of finally feeling better. I thought I would look a little cute for you guys, a little makeup. Um, I talked about what was on my face on my Instagram page, but just gonna share it on here. I picked up, I refounded or oh, refounded i rediscovered um the giorgio armani luminous cell foundation and how much i absolutely love it but i think what has been incredible is this blush by giorgio armani it is so beautiful it's their neo nudes um melting cheek balm cheek and eye balm blush it is this beautiful like burnt toffee color i briefly talked about it on instagram you guys need to get your hands on it it seems as though it is on sale perfect for women of color i just think you can use it on your eyes you can use it on your cheek but also um if you're a medium to deep complexion you can use it as a corrector okay i wore it as a corrector today and it works beautiful the reason why you can use it as a corrector is because it has like this powdery cream like finish it kind of goes on creamy but then finishes as powder it's like beautiful it's like a very like confusing texture but um, yeah, I'm finally feeling better. By the way, my outfit is totally matching the rest of my house and my cats. So it's a little bit of a vibe going on. But um, I'm going to give you a brief intro of my week thus far. Um, I started vlogging and right before I got sick. So I have some really cool con. So I'm going to take you along with me to HomeSense. Um, I have discovered a few like really cool gadgets that I want to show you guys and it's gonna be a really chill kind of long vlog so if you're interested then stay tuned i mean you must be interested so stay tuned grab yourself a invisible snack since you're probably fasting when you're watching this but um yes i've missed you guys and it's so good to be back alhamdulillah i have the most like lively neighbors i love them so much just sit here talk with you and unbox each and every item i honestly like i love hauls like this a little bit of home a little bit of interior a little bit of gadgets a little bit of fashion right right it is like such a beautiful day outside i had to open i have like two i have like four juliet no two juliet balconies um in my office and i just opened one and the breeze is just like it just feels so good. Sunglasses are like the one thing that I will like just get at impulse. You know what I mean? Like I'll just, if I like it, I'll just get it. Like I'll just, I don't even think about it. And usually uh, I'm, I'm quite a strategic buyer. So who me? Who me? Should we start off with home? I have a lot of diffusers in the house. Like I have like a signature scent. And I believe this is what it is. Because every time someone comes to my house, they say my house either smells like laundry, which makes sense because I do a lot of laundry. Like, but we're passing by the mall and I was like, Omar, can you just quickly stop? I need to refill my diffusers at home. And I discovered a new scent that I'm obsessed with, but they sold out. And the small one was like $19. And the bigger one, which is four times the amount, was like 40 which made no sense so i was like no i'm waiting for the big one to come back i think i can order it online let me close the balcony because i have a feeling you guys can't hear me honestly but i bought some refills for my home and i think she threw in a few things rituals of sakura is pretty much what my home smells like it's basically rice milk and cherry blossom but it's not too sweet i don't like an overbearingly sweet uh, smell it's more like a florally sweet it's beautiful two refills this is a mini one i don't know why they threw it in maybe they have a promotion so if you guys want to go check that out and my second favorite scent by them is the the rituals of eruvida it's a uh, roses from india fragrance sticks indian rose and sweet almond oil it smells so good i got this really cool dish I think it's like tin, it's not glass, which is so amazing because if it falls, my heart's not like skipping a beat. Um, it's from Zara Home, I love the color. I'm going with like everything ivory, like everything beige, all the dishes and stuff, or uh, mango wood. Oh, I know guys, I love it. So I, 
I got this. I got a honey pot from Zara with a mango wood lid. It's in one of the pull-out drawers. Can you bring that and also bring the new pot I got from Zara that's on the dining table? Get a snack, guys. This is going to take a while. Too lazy to get it myself, but I know if I ask my husband to get anything, it's going to take it's going to take like 5 years. Trip 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 now you just go bop. Woo. You know what? We might as well make tomorrow's breakfast. Honestly, like this is my life. I got this in a PR. It's a it's a jar, a Kilner jar, the authentic jars. I don't know why it made me so excited. I never had one. I've always wanted one before. Um, and it's the whole oats and a little bit of granola, hemp seed, and like dried bits. They gave me this in a shampoo and conditioner PR. I freaking love Garnier. They always send food with their shampoo and conditioner PRs, and I love those PRs. This is what they sent: the ultimate um, blends, no rinse conditioner coconut delicate oat and they sent honey my my hair like drinks conditioner so that's great anyways they sent the straw they sent the seeds and they sent milk and honey and they're like make tomorrow's breakfast and I was like, so thoughtful garnier so thoughtful do i put the whole thing i'm gonna put some honey in there how thoughtful is this So you put the lid on and then you just you just put this in the fridge exciting right yeah so i ordered some new bits from zara the plate i also got this because i got that cute little honey jar and i had to get something that matched it that would sit next mm. to it on a shelf um and this would be perfect for matcha you know when i make matcha lattes um you scoop about literally a teaspoon of matcha while the frother is frothing the milk you add the matcha powder and it blends it so fine and beautifully and you a matcha latte easy uh i don't know about you but i thought it was time for me to invest in really nice pjs i discovered this brand called lindex i ordered a few sets and i was like you know what let me just see how it goes if it goes well i'll literally ditch all my primark pjs that i've had for years and like and just get like really nice sets of this right it was so soft it was like this model stretch beautiful like pajama piece i loved it so much and armor armor can get his hands off of me like you know and i realized wow do i really dress that bad bad to bed like you just love this material it's just a basic pj set have i really lost have i really deviated from the manal that you marry to the po to the point where the little like basic pajama sets gets you excited on there like i really need to set step it up you know what i mean um i mean i've been married for nine years My, no <laughs> How many years? 2014 we got married. 2008 years. We've been married for eight years, mashallah. It'll be eight in August. Um, so, I mean, it's been a while. So, you know, you tend to kind of lose effort. You wear whatever, tea stained t-shirt, sweatpants to bed or whatever. But these pieces, I'm like, no, you know what? Forget him. I need to do this for myself. Like, um, and I invested in like a good like five or six sets of this. And then hopefully I could just have it on rotation with my kaftans and that's it like i i stepped up my loungewear game it's now time to step up my sleepwear game these hair scrunchies from them okay like three for like a pound 50. i got some of these t-shirts to work out in a lot of the time like workout wear is not modest right and the modest ones are too modest i mean let's be frank like i'm not gonna wear i'm not gonna wear a dress when i work out like it's not gonna it's not gonna work um so i wanted something that would cover my butt but still give me movement uh, but yeah i got like three of them hoping that they will be nice. I got an XL and an XXL. The pants are a bit short, but who cares? You know, you're at home. So this is the top I got. And their sizes, I really appreciate. Like they, they size them big. I'm usually an XXL, but with the store, I'm like an X. And these are the pants, just standard. There's no trimming on the bottom of the pants, but I mean, they're quite affordable, so. And then I got another pair. Got this really cute, how it's gonna look on me, but we'll see. I have high hopes. I have a good eye for these things. Watch this nut. How cute is this blazer? It's so, oh wait, is it short sleeve? <laughs> sometimes we have hiccups, sometimes we have hiccups. I must have seen that it was short sleeve and thought, you know what, if it's past my elbow, I'm sure we get it fine. But whatever. 
Um, the back is open, which I I was well aware of because. But I the reason why I got this is because the cut was very much like uh uh, and me being a very curvy girl uh uh is what my I just my eye deviates. And it also comes with a matching pant. Pants I usually have problems with, so inshallah this fits me. But cute, right? made sense for me to purchase this really bougie rice dispenser okay let me get it you guys are gonna love it how cool is this rice dispenser you guys look at it you basically have this rice dispenser you have like a matching glass that sits on a cupboard and then you just dispense rice whenever you want use this nozzle and it opens it or closes how cool is this? this is so pretty this is gonna be my pantry i got the builder to measure exactly the height of this so that way it fits perfectly without any fuss and initially i wanted it for rice but we consume so much oats in this house like we have it for breakfast we have oat milk there's so many things that we use oats for we consume it twice as much as we do rice so i thought let's use it for oat oats and if i really love it i'll invest in another one for rice if i have the space because it's actually quite large are you ready <laughs> so you know how i was like i drink a lot of oat milk in this house adam has it in his bottles we have it in our lattes like oat milk is consumed to the fullest degree and we probably use up to like one carton of oat milk a day which is insane when you so i'm like you know what let me just invest in a oat milk maker or a plant milk maker right makes the most amount of sense guys like my obsession with oats are on a different level like I just made overnight oats with you guys while I was waiting for something like that's a bit that's a sign right this is what it looks like Ta we got the instruction manual a whole bunch of other recipe book here it is I have no idea how this works so we're gonna unbox this together but I do like the fact that it's white, so it matches. Just enough. Press to use pure water. Okay. We have the water jug. Oh wow. this okay all clean this is what dreams made i don't know what this hall turned into but it's getting lit so how you dispense the oats is you just bring this nozzle That's enough. Hot chocolate, white cashew latte, tonka milk, apple latte. What? Three grams of jumbo oats will make 100 milliliters of oat milk? No way. Okay, so there's like buttons on the top here. Dry soy, soaked soy, nuts, grains, fruits, grains. I'm just going to wing it. Because two grams just doesn't make any sense to me. Honestly, it doesn't. 50 ml, 50 grams. Done. What does that mean? E01. There is a glass jar. There is a glass jar! What does that mean? Oh, it's supposed to be like that. I had it in the wrong way. <laughs> Ah. 
So what happened was, <laughs> let me just show y'all. I made porridge. <laughs> you know when they said two grams of oats? They weren't kidding. I made porridge. I never listen to instructions. Why do I always do this? Why do I always do this? Why do I always do this? This is not oat milk. This is porridge. Amir! Yeah. I need your help! What does it look like here? That don't look like milk. So it basically said two grams of oats. Do you know how much two grams is? No. Is very little. Like a, tea, like a quarter of a teaspoon, I think. So I'm like, nah, that can't be right. Maybe they mean like... <laughs> It looks like a dessert, like a... You're just fasting, I'm hungry. Mm. So what we're gonna do... This is all I needed! I'm so happy! Okay guys, we got there in the end. Here's my oat milk. It looks a bit watery. Um, the machine is now self-cleaning itself. I didn't have to touch anything. I mean, what... Does this look like oat milk or does it look a, li a little watery to you? I don't know about this. So that milk making machine is, honestly, it's rubbish. Like, I don't know if I've used it wrong. I've tried it twice. The first time I've tried it, I used too much oats. That's on me. I made a mistake. The second time, I did the exact measurements that they said, and it ended up creating this, like, it's like an oat water. I don't know what it is. Kind of disappointing. The cleaning is great. The self-care cleaning. I'm oat milk. If I made coffee with that, I would probably not drink it like honestly i sh so if you have this machine at home or if you've tried this machine or if you can recommend a plant based plant milk maker that would be great because i don't know what that was to be honest that was the most stressful thing <laughs> door numbers i don't want people knowing where i live hey damien hello you here for the orders yes <laughs> i know we, why are we so formal <laughs> you good 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 how's, how's it going yeah all good how was the weekend uh chill yeah. busy i was packaging yeah. orders Been such a good day today i actually had to fire someone today which wasn't so great um but because i hired a tiler to tile my son's room he basically messed us about on so many different levels like subhanallah honestly mashallah my patience for this guy has been so long a lot of you guys would probably if i told you the story in detail a lot of you guys would probably be like no why did you even allow that to carry on for so long uh that's not how you run a business like and you know what on top of that like we got him through recommendations he didn't show up for five days straight he was not answering our calls for five days straight we were sitting at home waiting for him with our two-year-old child and uh he wanted to show up at like on a saturday at like 6 p.m when my son goes to bed to tile my son's bedroom and it just didn't make any sense like he was just messing about so yeah we had to let him go and i'm really upset because you know honestly i was really looking forward to adam's room being finished the, the only last step that's left is just tiling if you guys ever like renovated the bathroom you know like there's different stages and it's actually at the stage of just needing to be tiled and then final fix which is like everything needs to be, just be quickly like popped in and it's done you know so it's a bit annoying, but you know, alhamdulillah for everything, uh, you know, alhamdulillah for everything, honestly, I feel like God has really, really helped us with this because if he were to have started and then we see what his work ethic is like, I mean, it wouldn't have been a good experience. So before even things started to roll out, we waited for him for approximately a month and a week uh, for him to start and only for him to kind of pull our legs. So that's happened but alhamdulillah it happened now versus it happening like or like mid work imagine if you were to start working and then like he just stopped and we'd have half the, the bathroom tiled alhamdulillah so now i'm able to um try to get my deposit back from him and hire a new tiler to actually start 
and finish the job versus it having to be picked up from a new tiler. That's the silver lining. I'm always trying to see the glass half full. Um, but alhamdulillah, I'm just grateful to have seen. It really put a span in our works. Um, we're getting that sorted, but at least, inshallah, the kitchen will be done this week. Um, the countertops will be installed and then the hob and everything will be connected. The sink will be connected. Everything will be connected. So it, it will actually be like a fully functional kitchen. It would just need like a nice fresh coat of paint, which could be done easily by moi. And you know what? I'm that. Like, just try to stay positive. You know what I mean? Uh, so yeah, I got a few things from uh, John Lewis. I got a salad spinner. Now, this is the one that you pump in spins. Um, anything from Good Grips. OXO Good Grips is such a good brand, like good quality, good reliable um, kitchen products. So, um, so I invested in a really good one, and you just pump it in a spin. That's exciting. I also got a new garlic press because the one I had before was a bit dodgy. I'm like squatting. Let me get a bench. you up man i like to be like super transparent with you guys so with building projects there's a lot of things that can go wrong there's a lot of people that can do you wrong uh there's a lot of delays that can happen products uh things cannot show up when they're supposed to show up which can delay workers um you can come across some people that aren't honest you can come across some incredibly honest people that are really good at their craft so it's always like a hit or miss with builds you pray you come across really good and honest people and we've done a lot of like home reno uh since we bought this but what always ends up happening is you, you as much as you meet amazing incredible workers that and builders that are amazing at their crafts and do an incredible job you also sometimes meet people who are massive time wasters and probably just try to take advantage which is really really unfortunate that's why recommendations go a very long way and everyone we've worked with that we have recommended has gone through and through and has been tested by us thoroughly um so really really glad that um it fell through and we had to let him go before he even started it's like my plumber i've worked with him on all four of the bathrooms our kitchen on m many different issues we've had and he's been completely reliable and only then did we recommend him to you so um yeah i would much rather experience the hardship with people than you do because it's very it's very it's very it's very difficult when you do come across um a tradesman who doesn't say or do what they're supposed to do like and kind of messes you about it really puts a span in the works for other tradesmen who need to come in after him and finish a job or do different parts of the bathroom or the room it really just adds a lot of stress so it's very important that you really do your diligence and research on someone and make sure they're referred we did that with this guy and we still kind of got messed up a bit, a lot, a lot of it, and um, get our deposit back through the banks and put up a case. But you don't want to be in this situation. It's not the greatest situation to be in. And also, these situations are great learning experiences as well. But you never want to be the person to go through them. You want you, you don't you don't want anybody to go through them essentially. So um, yeah, but that's okay. If we were, you know what irritates me? If we were a family with one bathroom and he was messing us about and we had to wait a month and a half for this bathroom to be finished, imagine the impact it would have on our daily lives. Do you know what I mean? And alhamdulillah, like we have another bathroom that we can use, but it's just the principle. Yeah, it's just life. I've been, this has been taking me a while to open, but this looks like a really good garlic press. Like, look at this, a very solid, it's from the same brand, Good Grips. I love Good Grips. You could just rely on them, honestly. Like everything I've gotten from them has just been a really good quality. So you put the you put the garlic um, the garlic piece in there, the garlic clove, and then you press it out. Whoosh, and then when you're done, to get all the little bits out, you, you go back in this way, and it kind of pushes all the pulp back out. Like, luckily for us, alhamdulillah, your girl knows how to handle someone who messes her about so don't worry guys we're gonna get it sorted 
I also got a pair of Good Grip tongs. I actually love using tongs to like make salads, to cook with, like quickly like kind of like turn over the chicken fillets or whatever. I like just kind of like, like tongs are the best. Air fryers when you gotta move things around. I just, I love tongs. Tongs are like one of my favorite utensils to use while cooking. I got these big kitchen shears. You know what, you know what, some, you know what something I never really thought about? When you make salads, you can use scissors and cut them as it falls into the bowl. So say you have like a big piece of lettuce that you washed and you don't want to just chop it up. You can just slice it up with kitchen scissors and just wash it, right? I never like, I also got these drawer um, grips. They're basically like a sheet that, it actually is the exact same gray as the internals of my kitchen drawers. But you put them in there and basically when you put your glassware or your dishes, it just helps add a cushion base to the actual drawer and nothing kind of slides around. It prevents sliding and it just adds a nice cushion so it doesn't scratch up your nice pots, your glass plates or whatever. I got this peg drawer for my Tupperware. It's actually for this drawer here. And um, you can just kind of store your lids and your bases in a way that suits you best. Move around the pegs. So yeah, this is literally what my drawer looks like. So I can just, I bought one to see if I like it. And if I like it, I'll get more. That's it, guys. I got a few other things I'm going to show you later. I'm going to quickly make wudu. And um, yeah, I'll chat with you guys in a bit. You guys, I just came out of Asda. I found this vacuum that washes and vacuums the floor. And I was like, oh my God, this looks really pricey. Why is it only 74 pounds? So I took a picture of it on Google picture and it's normally like three, 400 pounds. And I was like, what? So it was, it was the last one. So I picked up, babe, mm. this yeah. washes and vacuums the floor cordless mm. online is 400 and she's like chinute i'm like yeah she's like hey nice to meet you whatever i said girl get this vacuum if you need it for your mom show your mom this and she's like oh my god i was telling her oh my god it's only 70 something here and she's like oh my god oh my god i'm gonna check if they have more upstairs mm -hmm. 